Hello students, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to install the PLC software, Delta PLC software that is WPL 2.51 version. Uh, I, will, I have given the downloading link of the software in the description box. After clicking the uh, link you will get this screen and here you have to click on the setup file is a PLC software setup file. Click on it and then <coughs> go to the download option. So software will be downloaded. Once software is downloaded it's very easy to install. Double click on the software uh, <coughs> uh, setup.exe file. So installation will start and then installation will be completed. After that uh, if you are using RS-232 RS-232 USB uh, converter then you have to download this driver also yeah this go to the download option download anyway so your download will start it is ATMB is there so since I am already having the software I don't require the software again so I will cancel this like that you have to download the driver also So download the 64 bit or download the entire file, entire folder you have to download it. So two downloads are required. <coughs> this is also very simple. After uh, downloading it, go to the 64 bit and then double click on the .exe file and your drivers will be installed. So, once software is installed installed in the uh, you know system, uh, there is an icon uh, is created in the desktop that is DVP PLC editor WPL soft 2.51 2.51 version and uh, <coughs> I'll also show you how to create the project uh, step by step. After installation, I assume that installation is completed and then uh, double click on the icon to start programming. So this is a screen you are going to get after double click on the icon. Go to file, new and then type the project title. Project title can be anything. Uh, for example say project 1 or <coughs> if you are working on drilling machine you can name it as a drilling machine a project like that model type yes we are using PLC and select the model type here SV2 there are many varieties are there but here our PLC belongs to SS2 category so select SS2 category and then <coughs> in the settings First of all, PLC should be on. Make sure that PLC is on, okay? Because in order, in order to build the communication between the PLC and the software, PLC must be on. So I am using uh, a converter here. So that is why. So in the communication port, directly uh, you click on the communication port here, and then you have to select USB to serial communication converter is the right that you have to select it and all other uh, data will be remain same for example data length is 7 priority is even uh, stop bits is 1 baud rate is 9600 and station address in my plc is 2 in your plc can be 1 okay but in my case it is 2 and type of communication is RS-232 communication, click on OK and then click on OK. I am going in a slow way because I got the comments that I may be a bit fast in doing that. So I am going very slow in this video. Okay. So now this is a ladder logic screen. Okay. First I will explain uh, simple features here. This is the uh, uh, command tool here. In the command tool, 
basic comments are there for example f1 is normally open f2 is normally closed f3 is uh, rising edge trigger switch f4 is falling edge trigger switch then f5 is set point then f6 is application instruction application instructions where you can find counter timers reset function set function etc and f7 is a coil output coil and f8 is horizontal line f9 is vertical line and then inverse logic is there f11 f12 comparison uh, negative to positive is there this is directly we have to select it these are the shortcut keys also there function keys also there so right now i'm going to demonstrate a simple uh, so logic i'll take one switch and that is normally open okay so i want it as a switch so switch in the comment section i, I write it as switch 1 x0 and next in uh, i'll take one coil that is i'll take for example led 1 that is y0 so very simple program and i'll try to zoom it because some of you zoom in so this is zoom out option i hope it's very clear now i have taken one x0 that is input normally open see this is switch one and there is output that is led one and you have to check for the errors that is uh, code instruction is there click on the code instruction to debug it so there are no errors now that is the end of the program here this is a simple line now if communication is existed uh, between plc and pc uh, so program must be uh, able to download so you have to download the program to the plc uh, write to plc option is there that is control f8 is option download okay it is asking do you want to download the program yes and click on s for all the options and then go to the online mode that is control f4 is option that is online mode so now plc is in run mode so whenever you are checking the inputs and outputs whenever you are checking the outputs of plc you should be in run mode if it is in stop mode even though you given the instructions plc will not generate any output so now uh, I have got a PLC but uh, that PLC uh, is not connected to any switches. So I have to manually force the value here. The X0 status I can manually force. For example right click. First select the X, X, X0. Right click and there is a force option and then on. So I can manually switch on the X0 status to 1. See here. Okay. So even output also I, get, I am getting it. So when x0 is on, y0 is on. This is a very simple program. Uh, I can switch off this also. Right click, force, that is release. Or release xy is also okay. Or re release all is also, function is okay. Right click, force, release all. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So this is how uh, you can uh, download the software from the given link, install it and you can install the uh, driver software also. After installing both the software, I have shown you how to create a simple project by selecting the PLC type and uh, proper communication that is RS-232 communication is there and then station number is also important. This is how you can create a PLC project in Delta PLC software. Uh, if, you are, if you have any problem, you can put it in the comment section. I will answer your uh, questions or doubts. Thank you.